sinking further How much deeper till I greet the sea Stop treading water Amalgamation what is up my shredheads? Welcome back to the channel. First off, I want to say congratulations to Johnny Drone for being the winner of the TacForm Foam Mount Giveaway. And I want to thank you all who entered. Stay tuned, there's going to be another giveaway coming very soon. I also want to thank all the recent subscribers, past, present, and future. Without you guys, I would not be here. Thank you guys so much. Also, make sure if you guys want to support your boy Shreddy, check out those links down below. If you want 10% off your rider bag, use code SHREDDY10. Also, if you want $100 off any Super 73 bike that you want, make sure it's the RX. Make sure you click that link down below. If you want $200 off your Huck Cycles, use code SHREDDYMCSKATE. Check out those links down below. Thank you guys. In today's video, we're gonna be testing out the battery in the cold. It's super windy, it's 40 degrees here, so it's freezing. I got like three layers on, my heated jacket underneath, so there's actually a link for, for this heated Milwaukee jacket down below. I got on the highest setting, I'm pretty warm right now. Also, we're gonna be checking out some like light trails around here just to see how this bike handles. And for those of you who have been waiting for my Huck Cycles to get here, it did get delayed. It's still in Pennsylvania right now. I should be receiving it either the 22nd or the 24th. So let's hope it's a 22nd or earlier, guys. Oh, I can't wait to start making videos on that bike for you guys. I got the app tracking my ride. We're already at 53 volts from 54. Remember, this thing dies around 38 volts. All right, guys, I'm taking you to this cool little trail I found off of the bike trail. So we're gonna head there now and check it out and see how this thing rides on it. And just so you guys know, I do keep my bike a mode four at all times. Um, and sometimes I keep it on uh, pedal assist too, but we're just gonna be doing full throttle the whole time. So no pedal assist, let's rip. All right, here's that cool little trail I found. Oh, the only thing I wish that this bike did have is a softer rear suspension. The front feels awesome, but the back could be a little bit softer. If you guys do have any recommendations on the suspension on the rear, I could change it to. Drop a comment down below and let me know. Last time I was here, I almost ran over a bunny, so. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's hope nobody creeps in front of me on this trail. Oh, man, this is a blast, guys. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, my biscuits, the biscuits. Yeah, definitely need softer suspension. Whee! It's so much fun pumping like little like dips like that. <laughs> yeah! All right, now I'm sitting on my butt far back. Uh, still feeling those bumps. Not that bad since the cushioning of the seat is pretty awesome and broken in right now. Whoa! Get smacked! <laughs> yeah! I'm gonna have to find some cooler trails around here. Guys, it is brisk out here. Oh, this little mini half pipe is so much fun! <laughs> Woo! That is awesome. All right, we're gonna ride around the vineyards for a little bit so we can find some cool places to ride. We're around 52 volts. It keeps on jumping between 50 and 52, but that's when I hit the throttle. I think we'll find a little bit of light off-roading back around here. Ah, this is such a beautiful view, guys. Can't wait to take some of you guys here. Like I always say in all my videos, if you guys are visiting Southern Delaware, going to the beaches, Lewis, uh, Rehoboth, Dewey, Hit me up and I'll take you on an awesome ride. And uh, I'd love to check out your bike and review it also. All right, do you guys consider this like light off-roading, I guess? I don't know, we'll see. Oh, it's hard to... This is kind of soft. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is like, feels like beach sand almost, but it's not. Uh, that's probably going to be soft down there, I bet. Ooh, a little muddy there. Hopefully I don't get too dirty. Oh wow, this is handling pretty well through this. That's awesome. 
<laughs> oh, no, 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 no. That looks all wet back there. No way, guys. No way. You know how well these fenders work. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be upgrading these fenders whenever I get a chance. Figure out which ones work with it. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, let's do it. Ooh, this is so soft, guys. Think we can make it up this? Oh, come on. I gotta push it a little bit on the pedals. Ah! <laughs> let's see if we can do burnout. Nope. I don't think it's soft enough. Nah. We're gonna do some burnouts when I get to the beach later. If I still have battery left. <laughs> this is pretty rad riding on this stuff, though, guys. What's this? Oh, no, 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 no. That's, that's death. Oh, it's so soft. <laughs> that's so much fun. All right, let's get out of here and go check out some other light off-roading. <laughs> Whoa. Can we jump off a curb right quick? Plop up this curb a little bit. All right, get some speed. Push down on the front fork. Woo! <laughs> Maybe I can do burnouts in this. Let's see. <laughs> nope. <laughs> That's so much fun to do. I need more sand than that, though, for sure. All right, guys, I found a little more light off-roading. <laughs> I mean, this has got to be considered light off-roading, right? I mean, it's not like it's crazy jumps or anything. A little divity and bumpy. Woo! Oh, that's a divot. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> Get in the middle. <laughs> oh, don't hit that. Oh, man, this is a blast. Yeah. You know Shreddy likes some light off-roading. Oh, yeah, I think I can do burnouts here. It's got to happen. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about, guys. <laughs> so how to do that? You kind of got to push with your thigh as you're hitting the throttle and it kind of whips it around. It's, that's awesome. <laughs> Big hole. Woo. It is brisk, guys. It is really cold. <laughs> my face is frozen. But my body's nice and warm, thanks to my Milwaukee heated jacket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys think I should try to go up to the top of that hill? I think I should. All right, let's do it. I know it's like super divity because I've tried it before, but let's just let's just do it with some speed. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, super. Come on, give me more torque on that low end. This is pretty awesome. Whoa. Sick. Look at this view, guys. Woo. All right, let's go down this beast. <laughs> Look at all those divots. Wee. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, let me know if you guys are having fun. <laughs> Cause I sure am. Oh, more burnouts? Sure. <laughs> Almost lost it on that one, guys. Hey, look at that perfect circle. <laughs> All right, guys, let's read some comments right now. This comment is from Bill Wilhite. I hope I'm saying that right, Bill. Um, hey man, could you ask Marvin what it costs for a bike like his? I think he's talking about the bomber bike that goes 70 miles an hour. Fast with long range, thanks. 
So uh, with the builds that Marv does for you, it really depends on like the battery, the suspension you get, the forks and everything. So I did leave his uh, Facebook on my last video where I rode with him and my girlfriend. So if you guys are interested in a build from Marv, uh, make sure you click that link on there and ask him a question through there. Um, and actually, I'll probably just leave his Instagram below on this video in case you guys don't have a Facebook and just have an Instagram. Uh, thanks for the comment there, Bill. All right, guys, this next comment is from Fita5000. He commented, how did you carry your fishing pole? I guess that was on one of my older videos where I went fishing. It's called the RoboCup. Check out all my Amazon links down below. So the RoboCup, it can hold cups and whatever you want to throw in there. And it, it's a really strong clamp that could clamp onto anything, um, you know, as long as it's kind of thin or whatever. Uh, and you can unscrew the bottom of the cups and stick fishing rods in there. And that's what it's made for. So if you guys are interested, check out the link down below for that. Thank you. Thanks for the comment. And this next comment is from Rosa Gonzalez. Halloween is my favorite holiday in the world. And this is my favorite video I've ever watched. So much awesomeness and cool. And I like your mash, Freddy. Hey, thank you so much for the positive energy and great vibes. Um, that Halloween uh, group ride was a lot of fun to do. And I can't wait to do maybe like, you, you actually commented again on there about me maybe doing a like a Christmas holiday group ride. I'm, I think I'm gonna put something like that together just for you, all right? Hey, thank you so much for the comment and all the positive energy. I appreciate it so much. Next comment is from Ram Wellness. Dude, best way to spend Halloween. One day these rides will be on the daily. Super excited for you to get the Huck Cycles bike. Yeah, man, I'm trying to grow the crew as big as I can. So I'm just gonna keep pushing and get more friends here to ride e-bikes with me and uh, Hopefully the 22nd guys, the Huck Cycle is going to be here. I cannot wait to go 50 plus miles an hour for you guys. I, and I'll definitely make sure to keep it safe. I won't go fast on bike trails. I might stay off the bike trails of that bike, but we'll see how people react to it before, you know, I, I, I make up my mind on that. Hey, thanks for the comment, Ram. All right, guys, this is the last comment. This next comment is from Andrew. Nice vid, man. You should organize a group ride in Newark sometime so I can bring my Onyx out. Um, I live about an hour and a half from Newark and I don't have a car to put my bike on or a bike rack or anything so you're not too far either so if you don't mind you can bring your Onyx here and I'd love to try that bike out and I'd love for you to ride with us. And thanks again for all the comments guys I really appreciate it. Keep commenting below and I'll answer all your questions. Thanks. Alright guys it's uh, that time of season so you guys know that he keeps these decorations up year round so Halloween was here and it's past and Christmas is coming up and it's Christmas decoration time. <laughs> this is awesome. Let me know what you guys think about that. Drop a comment below. I'll give it a thumbs up. Drop a like for this. <laughs> That's so awesome. I love it. Alright guys, is this considered a little light off-roading? I'm gonna do it without my butt on the seat because this is pretty gnarly. I'm gonna try to use my arms and take all this shock. <laughs> Yeah, this is light off-roading, guys, right? Ah, <laughs> oh, that's so much fun. I do not recommend riding on train tracks if you guys uh, do have train tracks around you because <laughs> that was a little bit harsh. <laughs> All right, I got to use the bathroom right quick. And let's see if it's open. Hello? Of course I'm going to bring my bike in here. What do you think? I'm going to leave it out there? Crazy. Hey, look at me! <laughs> I think this is called like a ball collar or something. It's made by Burton, but it's awesome that it fits over your helmet, guys. All right, get out of the bathroom. All right, guys, I've never been here before, but this is at Cape Henlopen State Park. Look at this. It feels like you're like not in Delaware anymore. It's like a desert out here. Let's see what we can ride on here since it, it is a little bit colder and the sand doesn't feel as... So, well, I don't know about that. <laughs> Some of it feels pretty soft, but whoa, this is so much fun. Oh my God. Dude, guys, I wish I had a freaking four wheeler around here. Ah, uh, maybe the Huck Cycle will be able to handle this pretty well. <laughs> what? Oh, come on, get up, get up. Ah, uh, I got to, gotta get up, I gotta go. <laughs> what? Look at that, guys. All right, battery died, so now we're back. We're back, fellas. This crazy, crazy path. <laughs> oh, mushrooms. Oh, it is so hard to ride on this, guys. 
I should probably let some air out of the tires, but I didn't bring my electric pump. Nope. Oh, it's it's really soft there. Let me see if I just put my weight on the front now. Yeah, I'm like barely moving. How awesome is this, guys? Yeah, if this bike had a little more torque, I'd be able to handle this a little better. <laughs> 48 volts. Whoa. I don't know if those are hawks or vultures. There's definitely a lot of vultures here. Yeah, they're vulture. I can see the red face. Yep. They're so cool looking. Yo, I'm not gonna die yet, guys. Huh? Don't be flying around me. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is like a desert <laughs> with the vultures around. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna get like to the top of this and then ride down it because I am not getting anywhere. Let's burn out. Yeah, we're not getting too far on this. Oh, come on, Super, let's get some more torque on these bikes. I'm literally giving it all throttle here. There we go, come on. Getting a little speed there. Come on, come on. <laughs> This is definitely light off-roading because I'm not hitting anything crazy. Ah, uh, ah, uh, come on. Ah, uh, come on. Uh, I figured like these little rocks would be able to get a little bit of grip. Nope. Oh my God. Yeah, this is insane. All right, let's go down this stuff. Whoa. <laughs> This is where I wish I had like a Suron. Definitely. I definitely see a Suron in my future. I'll definitely see one of those. Whoa. There we go. That was actually fun. Should we go down this one? Oh, I'm sliding sideways. <laughs> Yo. Come on. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, my battery's hating me right now. Whoa. There we go. All right. Let's get back on that trail. There we go. It's weird it's like more packed right here. Come on, you can get up this. You can do it. <laughs> that was awesome guys drop a like for that all right guys are you guys ready for another light off-roading cheesy music video brought to you by shreddy
All right, guys, that's the end of that little light off-roading cheesy music video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. All right, guys, let's see how many miles. We traveled 15.2 miles, and remember, I was riding through crazy sand and dirt and all types of hard stuff to ride through with this, uh, with this bike. So we're down to 48 volts. I got about 10 volts left. Um, I've been riding for almost two hours, an hour and 44 minutes, and... Let's see what it says for percentage. Oh yeah, so we're down then 49% on this battery. Just remember that this battery dies at different like percentage ratings. So I always go by the voltage now. So I only got about 10 volts to ride. So I'm gonna take it pretty easy. I'm about to go grab some tacos uh, and we'll do a little shreddy foodie review for you guys. Cause I know you guys enjoy watching uh, <laughs> me grab some food and eat. So tacos is the way to go. All right, this is called Stop and Go Tacos right at the beginning of Rehoboth Ave. This is where homebrew Andrew and I actually watched the video premiere where I first met him. We sat at this table here. So let's go in there and grab a few tacos and I'll show you what this place is all about. All right, got the steak tacos. Look at that. Three steak tacos. I hope I can tear these up quickly. <laughs> oh man. Of course, I like the Salsa Verde, which is my favorite. The red stuff is good, but not nearly as good as Salsa Verde. Look at that. Yeah, that looks pretty slamming. Hopefully you guys can see me. Got to put the lemon on it, or the lime, of course. Gives it a nice little tangy flavor. Mouth already watering, guys. I think this is like a palate cleanser. I don't know why they give you those, but I'm pretty sure it kind of cleanses the palate or whatever. All right. I don't know which one to go for first. All right, here we go. Let's get this guy. Let's get this little guy. Oh, look at that meat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like really juicy and tender. Mm. And that lime really does it. Makes it hit the spot right. Wow. Of course, I got to get the Mexican Coke. One of my faves. Yep. This is awesome. All right, guys, I'm going to grub. And then we'll see if I can finish this at the end. I'll, I'll be back soon. All right, guys, I did end up crushing all three tacos, and that was amazing. So, again, if you guys are ever in the area, stop and go tacos at the beginning of Rehoboth Ave. Awesome tacos. And they have awesome tortas, too. I don't know if you guys know what a torta is, but it's kind of like a, like a Mexican sandwich type thing. So, if you're ever here, come here and eat. It's awesome. Um, I, I, I don't know which way I want to go back home. I don't know if I want to hit the trails back up, because I think my battery is going to die pretty soon since we're at 48 volts i got 10 more volts to kill um i'll think about hitting route one on the way back home yeah i think i'll do that i'll, I'll hit route one and see if we can find any like grass jumps or anything we could do for fun hey guys if you guys have any recommendations for little side view mirrors because this one's starting to get kind of weak and every time i bump around now it's starting to kind of move on me now Leave a link down below for me, guys. I'd love to try something different than this. This one's like a cheap, <clears throat> cheap one I got from a local bike shop. Oh, I was gonna pop up that. <laughs> Light off-roading. <laughs> I definitely can tell that the battery does die quicker in the cold. Oh my goodness, it is freezing today, guys. And windy. I think if it wasn't so windy, 40 degrees wouldn't be too bad. Wow, that was a big drop. <laughs> Woo. See if I can pop up this thing. <gasps> yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm, I don't want to try that. I'll try this though. Wee. Light off-roading. Is that what they call this? Yeah, that was a nice little bump, a little bump and jump. 
Iron Hill Brewery Restaurant. It's hard to talk with this damn thing on the mouth. I gotta try this barbecue place sometime. Chaps. If you guys got a chaps around your area, comment down below. I've never tried it before and I love barbecue. Especially pulled pork. That's my fave. All right, we'll do some more light off-roading. Is this a jump over here? What? <laughs> it's like a little ramp. I'm gonna take the Breakwater Junction Trail back home. That does look like a jump, but nah, not too well. <laughs> Hopefully I get home with enough battery. Ripping through these trails, it's so much fun. <laughs> oh, there it is, I'm missing it, I'm missing it. There it is, yeah, yeah, let's go. Leech law. Active archery hunting, that's crazy. How you doing? Let's ride through the grass a little bit. And <laughs> crush my battery. Yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. So many amazing trails back here. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's that is. That, good. I mean, can I see that thing rip, rip it? <laughs> Are there any jumps back here for that? What? Any jumps for that? Uh-uh. Oh my god! Damn! Whoa! Those are pretty expensive now. I saw some guy uh, ripping one of those on the beach and he put a couple grand into his. <laughs> I mean, this guy is funny, but this is like 300 bucks. Oh, what? That's I mean, awesome. It's, it's expensive, but you know, I, I want to do it for a while, so. Yeah. I thought, like, I'm going to give myself an early Christmas present. Bro. That's pretty sick. I love, like, battery powered things, as you can see. <laughs> yeah, well, that's about like 20. Whoa, that thing rips through the, the uh, leaves there. That's pretty sick. 20 minutes, yeah. Oh, oh I got stuck. <laughs> awesome, man. Hey, thanks for showing me that, bro. Uh, Have a good one. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Dude, I think I might have to get me a remote control car like that sometime. Can't believe how fast that thing rips. Where are we at? 46 volts? Alright, alright. We're going to take a little bit easier on this throttle. I feel like I'm kind of lost. I don't know where I'm at. Where am I? <laughs> you see how lady gets scared and jump out of the way? Oh, I hope I'm not going like backwards. I, I swear there's gonna be like somewhere I could turn left up here. Yep, I think this is it. Yes, sir. All right. I know my trails. I'm starting to get them around here. Yeah, and there's this little dip I like going down up over here. I don't know. I'm not gonna go too fast on it, but it's just fun doing this. <laughs> That's right, this is where that crazy dead raccoon with the swollen gums was. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> this is what I love about e biking, my guys. Just as long as no deer jump out in front of me or at me from the side. <laughs> I don't know if I told you guys before, but I was with B-Nuts one time. That crazy dude that blew himself up in a truck huffing butane. He, uh, I wasn't with him when he did that, but uh, we were driving down some back roads at night and like all of a sudden we hear a boom. And like we f feel like the whole car shake. And we, I was just like, what the heck was that? We stopped and we see a deer just limping across the street like behind us. So we ended up getting hit like sideswiped by a deer that was jumping across the trails. It was pretty crazy. <laughs> Here goes like a fun little bump in jump that I like hitting. <laughs> yes. I don't know why I get so excited, but I love it. Woo <laughs> Beautiful around here, fellas. This is great. Ah. Oh, I don't, I don't know if I tell you guys. I don't know if I told you guys, but the, uh, in my jacket, you can put like any of those M12 batteries in there. So I have the two milliamp, three milliamp, and then the five milliamp, which is the bigger one. I have it in here. Yesterday I was running for like four hours plus and it still had uh, two dots out of four. So 
thing lasts forever. It's awesome. I kind of wish people would build like trails with little jumps back here. Not like too crazy extreme jumps, but just little fun ones. All right, I got to take it easy. I'm going to die 38 volts. I know that we're jumping between 45 and 43 as I hit the throttle. So I'll take it a little bit easy as I get closer to the house. I'm glad I didn't take route one because that's actually a boring way home. This is a lot more fun. Look at this awesome view, fellas. Right through the trees, guys. Wow. That's so cool. Look at that. E-boat right through there. That'd be so much fun, guys. Yeah, it's crazy. So we go from 44 to 41 when I hit full throttle. So we're about, we're at actually 21 and a half miles with, it says 45 volts when I let go and then 41 when I'm hitting it, 31% on the battery. But never listen to that. <laughs> As you guys can tell on all the all my other range test videos that I had. But a little light off-road and today was actually a lot of fun. And a quick battery destroyer though. Let's hit up a little bit of the grass. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> yes. Alright, we're getting a little bit close to the house, I think. Oh, we're probably about like five miles from home. Woo! <laughs> Yes, sir. 29% battery left. Mm, I'll take it easy. I'll take it easy. All right, guys. 40 degrees and my fingers are totally numb now. So I definitely, definitely need some of those Milwaukee heated gloves. I'm going to be getting those for Christmas, hopefully, or actually before that. Let's hope I can get them a little early because I don't know if I'll be able to do videos in under 40 degree weather without heated gloves because these things are not doing it for me fellas it is not working <laughs> we are at 23.8 miles it says 23 percent left on the battery but we're at 44 volts let's see what happened when he, let's see what happens when we hit the throttle like full oh drop down to 40 oh 39 remember it does it 38 volts all right now it's evening out at 42 volts full throttle 26 miles an hour you guys want to do a little bit of gravel riding hopefully I don't slip out all right let's go <laughs> oh 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 I'm a little slipping out I'm a little slipping out <laughs> yes so much fun guys come on let's hope we don't die on the way home all right, I can feel definitely a lot of battery sag going on, so we're just going to do a little bit of light off-roading. <laughs> oh, man, it's going so slow. What are we at? It says 40 volts, and I'm holding the throttle all the way down. 17%. We've been riding almost three hours. <laughs> Yee! So much fun. <laughs> That was a little jump. A little jump, jump, jumpy jumps. Ooh, I don't want to slide down that. All right, I'm just going to go full throttle all the way home to the end of the video. <laughs> yeah, that's nice and smooth on this grass. I'm going to go down this little uh, fun dip up here. It's over there. Oh, bright sun, I can't see. Here it comes, guys. Ooh, 38 volts. I just hit 38. Let's hope it's not wet. All right, not wet. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Oh, I hope I have enough uh, power to do that little jump by the church that I love doing. All right, I was going to ring the bell. Ring my bell. Duckies, what up? What up, ladies? 39 volts. Ah, oh, I want to save the battery until I can hit that jump. <laughs> All right, we did make it to my fun jump with a little bit of juice left. 12%, 37 volts on full throttle. <laughs> yes.
<laughs> hey, we're still at 39. Hit another little baby jump that I like doing. Still recording, we're good, guys. All right, here it is. I don't want to get in these people's yards. They'll get mad at me. Oh, not enough juice. <laughs> not enough juice. All right, guys. I'm pretty cold and I'm pretty tired. We've made 27 miles with 10%. I probably only had like another mile or two left on his battery, if that. Um, so we've come to the end of the video here, where we begun. All right, we're at uh, 40 volts left on the battery. Three hour trip, 27.1 miles traveled, 10% left on this battery, but you should never believe it. And let's check out the rest of the statistics for you guys. That was some fun little bit of light off-roading day for, for you guys, right? Comment down below if you enjoyed that. Because I sure as heck did. Ooh, my hands are frozen, guys. Oof. All right, let's see what we did today, guys. Two hours and 58 minutes and 23 seconds we rode for today. 27.1 miles traveled. Average speed of 9 miles an hour, which I don't get. Max speed is 32 miles an hour. Total ascent 19 feet. Total descent 22 feet. Max altitude 42 feet. And the main altitude is negative 3 feet. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you guys so much for joining the chat on the premiere videos. I love chatting with you guys. Um, and if you guys enjoy the content, would you guys please consider hitting that subscribe button, like, and ringing that notification to be notified when I'm making videos. Are you guys ready for the moment of silence for that subscribe button? In three, two, one, hit subscribe, heads down. All right, guys, thank you so much. I will see you on the next ride. All right, guys, I did end up making it home and I rode about another half a mile and it did end up dying at 38 volts, guys, with 5% left again this time. So yeah, 38 volts it is, guys.